We had a mission when the Keller Institute was formed of improving the lives and productivities of persons with disabilities. The idea being that we would seek funding as it related to disabilities from birth through death. Today, as in the past, we focus on research, training and technical assistance, support for students, and leadership. In each of those areas, we have aims, which are for evidence-based practice, diversity, inclusion, and equity, and technical assistance and accessibility for all individuals with disabilities. Assistive technology was a particular interest of mine. I happened to be entering the field in the early 1980s. I got interested in computers, microcomputers, and my interests were, okay, so if computers help me as a professional so much, how can they help people with disabilities improve their lives? Augmentative and alternative communication, also known as AAC, is the approaches, strategies, and methods used to enhance the communication of individuals with communicative difficulties. Every person has the right to express their needs and interact with other people, regardless of a disability and its severity. When individuals are unable to communicate through speech, this should not mean that they are not entitled to communicate at all. There are a variety of AAC systems out there. It is crucial for educators to stay updated on the latest developments in AT and AAC because they play a critical role in providing support and accommodations to students with varying abilities and needs. I strongly feel if local education agencies and or educators cannot demonstrate or support a student who is trying to use their AT or AAC, there becomes a gap that could lead to students not wanting to or not sensing the urgency and importance of building their AT, including AAC skills. Assistive technology, more specifically, AAC, allows me to teach students at George Mason University. When the teaching job was offered to me, I hesitated very much to accept the offer. I thought, how could I teach students at a university? I mean, I know I cannot speak, even a word, when I am nervous. How could I? I realized that I should have self-confidence. One of the most important factors that make it possible for me to teach students is my AAC. This is not just my case. A lot of people with various abilities and needs benefit from a variety of AT. AIM Virginia is a project funded by the Virginia Department of Education. Our job is to provide accessible instructional materials to students with disabilities who have an IEP, an Individualized Education Plan, and who also have an identified print disability. Accessible instruction materials means that it is reading material that's provided in alternate formats, such as Braille or electronic files, that students can access using their assistive technology if they have challenges accessing traditional text. Students have the right to have access to materials that they can physically manipulate, that they can physically read, that they can demonstrate that they know the material. What's important about accessible materials and the assistive technology that we can use with them is that it really breaks down barriers for students, that students who have difficulty with the mechanics of reading, so that may be decoding, that may be fluency, the combination of the accessible text and the AT tool eliminate that barrier for them so they can access the text as it is. It's a student's job to learn, like that's their job. It's our job as educators to help them, to give them the tools and the strategies that they need to be able to do their job, which is to learn. For our students who may be struggling, it's my job to listen to them, to hear them, to understand what's happening and to validate that first and foremost, and to figure out what it is they want and what they like. And then it's my job to try to make their learning easier, make it them more confident, make them more independent, and honestly, just to love learning and, and, and put some joy back in learning because we know they are struggling and we know they feel bad and I don't want them ever to feel that. <laughs>